Hey, what's going on my friend, Antonio here. And in this video today, my friend, I'm going to share with you five tips to growing an Instagram account from scratch, all right? Five tips to growing an Instagram account from scratch. Now, before I get into sharing this valuable information with you, my friend, I definitely want to let you know that if you stick around to the end of this video, I have a 100% free gift, something of value in exchange for your time. So just make sure you stick around to the end of this video to claim your free gift, all right? So with that being said, my friend, Let's go ahead and let's dive in. So number one, tip number one, what I would do is number one, you have to pick a niche, okay? And once you identify that niche, you have to stick with it, okay? Don't pick a niche that you're really not passionate about, all right? But let's just say for an example, I was building a page around fitness, okay? I will make sure I'm sharing content that's fitness related or relatable to fitness. I'm not going to be sharing anything about my cats, my dogs, even though I don't have no pets. But if you do, you don't want to post your cats or your dogs on your Instagram page if you're building a page around fitness. All right. It has nothing to do with fitness. All right. Number two, I will optimize my profile. All right. You have to optimize your profile. So the thing is, when it comes to your profile, what it consists of is your profile picture, to your name, to your username of the account, to your bio, and the link in your um in your bio, and as well your contact information if you are a business, right? So you have to make sure that your bio and your profile as a whole is optimized. So here are some four key things that you want to have in your bio. You want to, for one, let people know who you are. Let them know what you do. What's your expertise? How can you help them? And number four, you want to have a clear call to action with the link in your bio, sending them to a particular opt-in page to a specific offer that's related to your business, okay? Number three, you have to study your competition. Now, I really don't necessarily like to use the word competitors or competition, right? Because I feel like we all are in competition with ourselves and no one else, right? Agree or disagree, all right? But at the end of the day, make a list of 10 pages, right? Just 10 pages minimal, right? Or more, you know, your choice. And what you want to do is make that list of those different accounts in your niche, find out what they're doing, seeing why people are gravitating to their content, what content are performing the best. And what you want to do is model after them and do it your own way, all right? Number four, you want to leverage hashtags. Now, hashtags, of course, Instagram has their limits. They only allow you to use 30 hashtags per post, okay? So what I would do, starting from scratch, is basically have like four to five different sets of hashtags. I will go into Excel, put a spreadsheet together, group those 30 hashtags, have four to five different sets, and I can use those for my pages and my posts that I'm putting out there, okay? Number five. You want to use all the content types that Instagram has to offer. Now, you may be asking Antonio, what do you mean by the content types that Instagram has to offer? Well, let me break it down to you, and it's five of them. Number one, you can just make a single post, okay? Number two, you can do carousel posts, okay? Number three, you can leverage IGTV. Number four, you can share videos. And number five, you can share stories. So those are all the five different types of content types when it comes to Instagram. So here's a quick recap. All right, starting from scratch with zero followers. You want to make sure you pick a niche, okay? You have to optimize your profile, study your competition, seeing what they're doing, leverage hashtags, and number five, leverage all the content types that Instagram has to offer, all right? So with that being said, my friend, I hope you got some value from this free video today. Uh, feel free to comment below this video. Let me know what was your biggest takeaway. Um, if you got value from this video, feel free to share this with a friend that needs to see and hear this information, all right? Not only that, but make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're looking at this on YouTube. And uh, while I have you here, I did say I had a free gift for you. So what I would like to do, my friend, is I want to give you a free training, all right, that my inner circle put together where you're going to discover the top 1% um, strategies that the top 1% are doing in their business every single day to make anywhere between $3,000 to $5,000 a week online in their business. So if you want to get access to that free training, my friend, you can actually 
Click the link in the comment section if you're on Facebook or in the description or above or below, depending upon where you're viewing this video. All right, and check out the free training. So with that being said, my friend, have a great day by default, and I'll see you again on the next video. Take care.